Archie's Acres, a small organic farm in Southern California, is home to the Veteran Sustainable Agriculture Training Program. Here, veterans are not only learning hands-on farming skills, but also gaining insight into owning their own business. When Colin returned from his third deployment, for me, I was really excited. He was home and he was in one piece and I felt really lucky. As you see, we keep the roots on. And what I realized that being in combat, Colin is used to a lot of adrenaline. He was used to charging forward at all times. We throw it in our Archie's Acre sleeve. As a spouse, you, re you really recognize that, you know, somebody can get bored really fast. And I would tell you that being an entrepreneur, you're never bored. Put it in cases and then we take it to the store. Most people don't think as vets and service members as entrepreneurs. Our opinion is that with their, their leadership skills and work ethic and their ability or their willingness to take risk makes them uniquely poised to become entrepreneurs. The lifestyle, being able to work for yourself, being able to uh, create jobs and continue to lead, to take risk and to continue to serve your community and your country. The Veteran Sustainable Agriculture Training Program is a full immersion course into sustainable organic agriculture as a career. Oh man, that's nice. That's how you know it's good soil right there, huh? We go from seed to market, but we also teach how to build a business plan. I was immediately interested. I think the lifestyle fit me, being outside, working hands-on. When you're with other veterans and, and service members, there's a uh, sense of community in the program, and, and for whatever reason, it seems like it's, it's easier to be around people who have shared similar experiences, whether it's with war or just the military in general. It creates a very good environment to be in. And the economics is a critical part of our, our program. We have an economics class that carries over about 12 hours uh, of the training, and that's where the profitability aspect ties in. If you don't know how to run a business, you're going to fail as a farm. Your net profit for your first year will be 201000 We actually have people that come in and teach about niche marketing and being able to identify the right crop and then before you buy seeds, where it's going to be sold. Okay. What, what was the site of your greenhouse? It goes from soil science, plant science, irrigation, um, all that stuff. But then it also teaches you how to be a business owner. We get help with the financial aspect, with marketing, with figuring out how we're going to brand ourselves, where we're going to sell, our crops, what, what we're going to grow. Yeah. Labor for erecting a complete yeah. greenhouse. Yeah. That's not bad because then we still, so have, we still we have enough still money enough. left over. They give you every piece of knowledge that you need to go from starting your farm to running your farm. You have a thirst that never quenches when it comes to researching your new career field of being a farmer. There was people from every branch that were in there, you know, so it wasn't just me and the Army guy, you know, the Marines, there was Air Force and Navy, so it's really cool. This theme is, is sustainable agriculture, and uh, you don't want to waste water, especially in this day and age. Hydroponics is a way of growing food without the soil itself. You have a complete closed loop system where you constantly recycle water. It's ten times easier than actually, you know, tilling soil, removing the plant, you know, doing all the other kind of stuff that you naturally would do with soil. And that's something that I'd love for veterans to be able to do because it's not a back-breaking, sun-up to sun-down style of farming. With a small lot of land using the right crop production systems, um, you can be profitable. So you don't need to go out and dump a ton of money in land, which young, uh, you know, 25-year-old leaving the military isn't going to have access to that type of capital anyway. It's a big deal to have this type of training program with veterans learning this type of stuff and then going back to their communities and uh, their families and, and sharing that information and becoming part of, of uh, society. Two, three. Come on, Amy. So it's not such a big reach. You got it? They can actually start a farm, build a greenhouse, and be sustainable for that family, but then start feeding their communities. Perfect. Archie's Acres, uh, they, give, they give the option, you know, they, they open up doors and opportunity, whether agriculture or just getting entrepreneurship, you know, running a business. I know that this is what I want to do, and I know this is how I want to spend my time and how I want to provide for my family. Mm -hmm.